and welcome to today's Styling Insights. I'll just wait for my uh, little um, Facebook Live clicker to uh, stop clicking over. Okay, I'm sure we're live. No doubt we're live. So I hope you're all having an amazing day today. So um, today I'd like to talk to you about why do we feel the need that we need to actually please others with our interior style? Um, I was just reading um, when people join my group, um, I have a question um, that I ask them and ask them what their biggest struggle is with interior styling. And uh, one response was that she wants her daughter-in-laws to like what she's done to her home. So the question is, why do you feel that you need to have the approval of other people of the way that you style your home? Um, I just will, it's only just clicked over, so I'm not too sure how far I've gone into um, my actual live then. Um, I'll just have a quick look, bear with me. Oh yeah, we are. Sorry about that. Just need to make sure that I'm coming live into Facebook from when I first started. All good. Anyway, so back to the question. Um, yeah, so I was sort of, when I read that, I had to read it a couple of times and I think, you know, I thought, well, why do we need the approval of others when we're styling our home? Um, a couple of things come to mind for me when I actually read that and was, you know, is there a fear of judgment? Do you have a fear of that you're going to be judged by the people that come through your door into your home? And why, why do you feel that you're um, going to be judged on your home? Because at the end of the day, your home is a reflection of who you are and what you represent and the way that you want to feel within your home. Um, and having that emotional connection to your home because at the end of the day, um, our home is our safe haven, it's our sanctuary, you know, our port in the storm. Um, but we may go to somebody else's home and like what they've got, um, but we, we don't necessarily want to bring that into our home because it might not suit our needs, wants and desires. But back to um, the question in I suppose people try, there's so many people pleasers out there they want um, to sort of please everybody and at the end of the day who are you trying to please we only need to please ourselves and the people that live in our home um, you know they they may have an opinion on it which is more than okay um, you know your husband might not like the um, hot pink floral uh, Duna cover that you've got on your bed. So, you know, that's completely understandable, but you don't want, um, you know, your daughter-in-law or your um, girlfriend or your best friend or, or whoever it is to come in and start judging your home because, you know, of course you wouldn't do that when you go into their home because there, there's sort of some resemblance in the way that they've actually created their um, interior style um, and that actually, you know, serves them the way it's uh, created. You know, it could be a colour, you know, a colour that you love um, and you incorporate that into your home and people say, well, why do you want that colour in your home? Well, why do you? You want that colour in your home because it brings you joy, it brings you happiness, it, it represents something in your, your home or something, um, I talk about um, emotional connections. So, um, it could be a connection from, you know, when you've been on a trip overseas and you there was something that, you know, triggered you about that colour and you wanted to incorporate that colour into your home. So there's meaning and purpose behind why you're styling your home the way you are. Not because your girlfriend doesn't like your style or your daughter-in-law doesn't like your style. We live there, uh, you know, that's the first place we wake up and where we go to sleep. So it's all about serving what we want in our home. I suppose also another thing I find is that people compare our homes to others as well. So we, we sort of go and we have a look in, uh, you know, we go to our girlfriend's place and she's got an absolutely stunning place. Yes, that's 
that's what you know keeps her happy that's her style um, you know she may have people say the same thing to her about you know um, the way that she styled her home but at the end of the day it's it's about that we don't want to please anyone else other than ourselves um, or our family that are living in our home and I just think, you know, the fear of judgment plays a big part in this as well because people don't like to be judged. People don't like to be criticised. Um, and I suppose that you can just take that on board. Thank you. Thank them for their opinion. But it shouldn't really matter to us what other people think of our home styling because... Um, it's coming from within us that we want to, you know, incorporate these colours or incorporate these patterns or have these um, bizarre and, um, I suppose, unique interior decor accents in our home. So I just want you to be true to yourself and create the home that you love. Um, not what your girlfriend or your daughter-in-law or whoever it is. It's about creating your home and your unique interior style in your home too. Um, yeah, I could talk a little bit more on this, but I just like to keep these short and sweet so that people sort of can actually soak in what I'm actually saying as well and sort of, you know, let them sit with that because this is an important factor that we, you know, think about um, uh, what, uh, what are other people going to think about our homes. Um, I do have a client that I'm working with as well at the moment and her parent-in-laws are coming and she wants to make her house look beautiful. So, you know, it's it's trying, you know, people are trying to be people pleasers and, you know, that fear of judgment that's sort of coming in. But at the end of the day, this is where we've created, you know, we've set our, uh, you know, our stumps that this is our... A home that we, we've created we had so much joy in creating our um, interior style that um, you know we got so much joy and happiness and we, and then somebody else comes in and wants to burst our bubble because it's not what they like remember it doesn't matter it is your home you create it to the way that you want because um, it needs to be functional and it needs to be practical as well. So I will leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching or if you're watching the replay, um, please hashtag replay. I would love to know who's watching this and I hope you have actually found some value in this um, styling insight today. Um, and I just want you to sit with that question is why do we need to please others about our interior style? Until then, we will be back next week with a, a new styling insight or if you have a dilemma please pop it in the comments below or send me a message and i would love to answer your dilemma on one of these um, live styling insights because it's about bringing my expertise and knowledge to this group and serving my community so please if you do have a question pop it in the comments below and I will um, endeavour to answer that question over, um, you know, the coming weeks. But have an amazing day. Be safe and be kind. And we will be seeing you next week. Bye for now.